Good morning everyone. So today we're at a Fiat Doblo XL 1.6 diesel and this is the 2013 model. So the customer's complaint with this one is the DPF warning light is on. So there it's right there. And there's a message comes up in the dashboard to say something about regeneration or something like that. Anyway, I'll show you the code. It keeps coming up. So the code that keeps appearing is a P215, sorry, P1215-68. Two distance driven with diesel particular filter lamp on for door-to-door -door request. Event information, it's an active code. So we checked the readings in the exhaust, and to be honest with you, they're not too high. In fact, they're pretty low. I'll show you this. So it says, the uh, distance cover since last diesel particular foot substitution, 1,500 kilometres. Oh, that looks like somebody's said it's had a new DPF on it. Never mind. These are particular broken, no. These are particular clogged, no. Uh, suit, no, no, yes. So these are particular filter suit mass in level 3, yes. This is driven since part of filter like 172 kilometres, so that's about 100, 110 miles, I would say. Uh, message on, stop, start. So we need a reading, and I can't actually see a good reading in this one. So we'll go back again. So we'll press, if we see DPF, no. Pressure. Differential pressure sensor. Differential ADC, don't know what that means. So we'll go OK with that. Two millibar, right? And when we take, when we start up, it doesn't go. It only goes to about seven millibar. So there's not much in it. So differential pressure sensor E is that analog to digital converter, five hundred ten millivolts. I don't know what that is. But I'll show you what we've done. So what we did do, we've went right into the sensor there. See, there's the sensor right there, and we've used this. DPF cleaning equipment but I think this is a bit of a fruitless exercise because there's no much pressure in the exhaust but we're going to give it a clean anyway and see if we can bring the levels down because usually when we start driving there's loads of smoke but to be honest with you we've done it once before and there wasn't much so we're going to try it again and see how that goes for there but a bit of a mystery so we've stuck the pipe back on with that uh, it. You can see it's jumped from 2 bar up to 8 bar, so Roddy's got to start it and we'll watch to see what we get to here. Mm. I'm not jumping much there. We'll run it down the road and see what we get. So we'll floor it going down the road here, but the figures are not getting that high. Right, they're going down the way. That's nothing. But we'll just show it right up the other way now. Went to 30, I wonder how that happened. There's a bit of reek. So Roddy's complaining here, this thing's no good. A bit more rump new, I think. A bit of smoke coming out in there. So we found in the systems list door to door regeneration counter one. See that there? So is that a black mark against you because you're just going door to door and you're not getting a, a run once a week? So I think that's. We've got plenty of smoke coming out of this exhaust now. And the pressure. Uh, just, just let it idle up here already, just see where we're at, lad. So, so we've got a feeling that this code is not brought on by pressure, it's brought on by driving style. So here we're sitting at idle, we're at 6 millibar. Oh, look at the reek. <laughs> Go rev it, my man. 
Oh, we've got a chuck in here. Oh, plenty of stuff coming out there. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still a bit high. We want to be doing it five. I think we'll just keep driving, eh? Type of thing, is it? Uh, like that, that? Maybe. So it's this door to door regeneration counter that's a problem. I'll just get her on, eh? Ah. So we're, doing, we're almost doing it. Just found a pit there for soup mass, 143%. So we actually started at 140, we're actually climbing now. So we're getting desperate now. So what we're going to do is do special functions because there's no any, there's no suit in it. There's no any pressure in this exhaust, right? So it's miscellaneous functions. Can we see injector differential pressure in that injector? Part of fault with integrated cat. So let's see this. I think that's the data regen, but we want to tell it's just got a new car, a new DPF on it. So we're waiting into this one to say the particle filter with integrated pre cat replacement. So we'll, we'll tell it that, so we'll continue. We'll be allowed engine idling. If it's well, if the phone. Engine idling, rain clutch pedals released, water temperature above 70, vehicle station bonnet open, but that's not to say it's been replaced. So let's just keep going. Start the engine and press continue. I think it's a bit mixed up. Continue. It's went off. That's went off, but that's going upside down. Oh. We've just found out that the little symbols went off. So let's let's see if it's changed. So we've never even done this procedure, so we'll close that out. Come out of this and we'll go back in and see if it's changed. You, you can see that that P1215-68 moved to stored and that was even, we never even bothered telling it, it had a new DPF on it so we just had dr driven it with the stuff in the exhaust we already switched the car off, put it back on, the light disappeared and that that was gone, so let's look at the PID list and see if this door to door code has went from 1 to 0, so read stream Door to door counter, okay. Ah, look, that's went to zero. So that's unusual. So it must just be a little short drive that's causing the problem because I don't think fundamentally our pressures have changed that much. Let me look for this. Uh. Six millibar, Roddy. Are you your rave, my man? No, it's hardly changed. So it's that door-to-door -door regeneration counter. So the moral of the story is, well, we cleaned it and we oh, drove it. It's a lot of smoke coming here, no look. Aye, but it never took it down that far, did it? No. We need to look back at the video. Maybe we went for nine millibar down to six, five millibar. No that much, but... Switch now, switch now. Ah. The other thing I can see as well, it's went from... Level 3 says no, but level 2 says yes now. And percentage of suit mass down to 70%. So we'll just have to give, keep it driving. We're about to do 5 millibar, which is good. We want to see 5 millibar or under. So after a long run, say about 6 miles, the percentage of suit remains at 72%. Our pressure remains at five, six millibar, which is good, and that still thing's still staying at two. Now we're thinking, Vauxhall can he run about seventy odd percent, and I think this is a Vauxhall. Well, this is a Fiat come Vauxhall engine. It's in it, so I think that figure's okay. So we'll let this go, but if it comes back, I'll tell you. But at least the lights off, and it's going well now. Anyway, cheers.